these are the scariest pranks in the world. Consider yourself lucky you're not this person, or this person, or you see where I'm going with this. With so many people terrified of elevators, it seems like a pretty obvious place to stage a prank, but this one really did get creative. Instead of doing something obvious, like pretending the elevator was stuck, this Japanese show got a little creative. The producer escorts their victim to the elevator, but the second they step inside, this happens. That's definitely something you can never prepare for. And This is, bro, this is traumatizing, bro. This is, <laughs> this is traumatizing, bro. And why would you? Why she had perfect teeth? And if that wasn't enough of a shock, they then find themselves on an underground slide covered in Bro, some somebody could literally catch a heart attack like this. What the fuck? Some kind of mysterious goo. New fear unlocked anyone? These Bro, you can literally. Oh my god. Tourists in China probably thought that walking on this glass bridge was scary enough on its own. They clearly had no idea what was in store for them. And I Bro, I always wanted to walk across this glass bridge, bro, but I know I'm gonna shit my pants, bro. I know I'm gonna be trying to every step I take. And it's like, you can't go right back. Like, I mean, it's a long ass bridge. Now imagine they did this. Insight, I'm sure you know it's a prank, but I can't even imagine what I'd be thinking if that were happening to me. Take a look at this guy who was just seconds away from losing his iPad. They achieved this amazing illusion by placing real shards of glass and video screens underneath the glass floor and topped it all off with sound effects to make it seem extra real. Funny or cruel? <laughs> I'll leave you to be the judge of that. Bro, Picture this. I can't lie, that's crazy, bro. These these pranks is not funny, bro. These is literally traumatizing for life. Like, yeah, they would have to pay for that nigga iPad, bro. You're sitting in an empty office, just waiting around for something to and happen. And they sell an area. Like, the entire desk slides open. What do you do? Some people would make a run for the exit as quickly as possible. These people, on the other hand, made the mistake of being curious enough to stay and look. That's exactly what the pranksters wanted. Before they knew what was happening, they had a face full of cream. It looks like it got everywhere, too. That guy must have been glad he was wearing glasses. There's Although he doesn't seem shit, very bro. happy about There's any of it. In the shit, old bro. days, all you needed for a good prank was... This some whole ass shit. Niggas getting too creative about hoeing niggas, bro. <laughs> like, I telephone. can't lie. But those were simpler These niggas times. getting too if creative about hoeing niggas. <laughs> great prank now, you probably need to look into purchasing an extra. I like how they stare at it, but think about it. If that happened to you, you're going to stare at it too late. Even if you just like, what the fuck? Like, it's still going to hit you. Extremely realistic dinosaur costume. Need someone to cream on my face like that, Jalen? You are. Sure, that's going to be pretty bad. expensive, but there's one big benefit to a moving dinosaur. It seems to terrify just about everyone. Didn't Even they do this? Didn't they been, do the same prank to like NBA players or something? Extinct for millions of years. There's just something unsettling about a Ooh, prehistoric that my ball beast smell like chasing us down the corridor. Chat, my balls smell sure like these Chipotle. people would agree. Maybe cornering yourself on the ground isn't the smartest move either. There's always more than one way to do something, but the choice usually comes down to what you're really trying to achieve. For example, if you wanted to terrify someone in an elevator, nah, you this could is just traumatizing, the floor bro. open up and eat them. But this that wouldn't not sell funny. very many TVs. What LG wanted to do instead was make it look like the floor of the elevator was falling away. You know, to prove how good their TVs are. Ironically, some victims even tried to find a safe tile to stand on, sometimes scrambling to the other end of the elevator. I'm just glad I didn't need to experience this for myself. If you've ever watched The Ring, then you'll know just how terrifying it is. That's not that bad, though. The move That's not that bad. That's not worse than getting fucking dropped from the elevator into a slimy slide, like... Movie creators put together the perfect set for a scary one prank. A just when their customers least expected bed? it, the screen pulled up without them noticing, leaving a gap for the actress to crawl out and scare the life out of the... I would've kicked that shit in his face, I can't lie. Look at her face, bro. The unsuspecting victims. I would've kicked her on her face. And ran. Oh my god. Honestly, I think those people handled that quite well. Well, most of them anyway. He said, thank you. Thank you. All my niggas, they know exactly what to do. They're not waiting and saying, oh shit, nah, we out of there. <laughs>
Imagine you're a technology company. What's yeah. the best way to prove that your TVs have the highest quality screens on the market? LG's headquarters in Chile came up with hey, a genius LG joke. They gathered people for a job interview. <laughs> filled the office with hidden cameras and set up one of their TVs so it looked like okay, a window. Yeah, okay. Job and then interviews are stressful this. enough. They're far worse. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, shit. Bro, this really got people? Suddenly appears. Bro, that really got people, bro. I mean, if the room is actually shaking, like it looks like it's shaking because of the camera, I don't know. But if the room was actually shaking and the volume was dumb loud, I could see people getting caught. Most of them took it well, except for that one guy. I think I'm on his side though. Some people really know how to create drama. But the TNT network might have just overshadowed every LG other drama better. Yeah, I got an LG TV chat. In 2013, the company erected a suspiciously large button in Belgium, inviting unsuspecting people to push to add drama. Some that person people just button? walked by, but some brave and curious people press the button. Once that happens, all heck breaks loose. With staged fights and gunfire breaking out in the town, bikini babes on motorcycles tore up the street and anarchy erupted. That's mad fun. That's mad funny. Yeah. The best part of the video is the reactions of those who set it off. Participants look around stunned as the action unfolds, trying to come to terms with the fact they caused it all to happen. This prank show wanted to see what would happen if they glued people to the floor. Imagine, there you are. Bro, nigga just put a human-sized rat trap. Niggas just laid down a human-sized rat trap. Are just minding your own business. I got a fucking TCL. What the fuck is that, Gibby? Is that a fatback TV? This one minute you're getting along with your day, the next you're stuck to the ground. But there's more than one way to achieve a sticky floor prank. Plan A is to trap ordinary people on the street as they go about their day. Then there's the more extreme method. Place a tray of sticky goo behind a closed door and just wait for the next victim. The highlight's definitely their previous victim sitting on the sofa covered in goo. He didn't even try to warn him. Here's something you almost never think about. Drinking fountains. You sure? What the fuck is he doing, bro? Hey, yo. And these be the dirtiest fountains, bro. I told you in college, this motherfucker sat on the goddamn fountain and farted on that bitch. It's the same what? one I had to get my water from. They're a handy thing to have around, but... They're not exactly going to take up a lot of space in your thoughts. At least not until something like this happens to you. <laughs> First of all, I'm not drinking. This shit look like an ass plug. I'm not drinking a, from water from this shit. This prank show set up a drinking fountain with a twist. I'm still to trying to drink. Unsuspecting people by surprise, and it definitely worked. Hey, yo, know. he just got a mouthful of goddamn. Have you ever had water sprayed up your nose at high pressure? But it's definitely not pleasant. I wouldn't go near that fountain again, but these people are. Hey, yo, why is his mouth was already wide open the second? Like, Clearly a little bit. Yeah, I think it was deep Most of them go in for another try. It doesn't seem worth it, but you've got to admire their dedication. <laughs> The Indiana Jones films are iconic. They're a part of our culture, but even in iconic you ever films like Indiana that, Jones? there are moments that stand out and take a life of their own. You probably already know where I'm going with this. This girl got to reenact that iconic moment, whether she wanted to or not. Honestly, it really does look genuinely frightening, <laughs> especially since that's the last thing you expect when walking down a corridor. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch would have died. Bro, she would have got flattened, bro. She would have been a tattoo for the they floor. were kind enough to give her something soft to land on. Even in a world of clever pranks, some are just a little more intelligent than others. The creators of the Invisible Man movie obviously know how to scare people, but it's quite different to execute that in real life. As part of their press, they decided they were going to give journalists a taste of what it would be like to really encounter the Invisible Man. Let's just say it wasn't the kind of interview they were expecting. Man. Oh my god. They Chad, did you see the Invisible Man? This movie was actually pretty good. You seen the Invisible Man? Oh yeah, we seen it together, right? Rigged the interview room to make it look like someone invisible was making. Like it was like it's always those movies where the partner's obsessed with the ex or like somebody else's wife or whatever. Fluff. I mean, but it.
but it was like a new twist to it, so it was really good. Yeah, we watched it in the movie. Making things move. The grand finale was a clever reveal of the invisible man standing up behind the curtain. The people who stayed in the room. Why you so obsessed with me, boy? I wanna know. So you're a yogurt company Why that needs to get an advertisement done. What's the best way to get people to eat yogurt knows. with a bear? Apparently, Chobani decided they'd recreate right. their famous bear scent. What type of videos we watching now, chat? Super Bowl commercial by setting nah, a bear loose in shitty, New York so City. Alright, not the movie quite. Was good. They actually unleashed a man in an animatronic bear suit onto the streets to frighten they unsuspecting put that bitch in members house. of the pub. Tell me blessings on one hand, but I'm grateful. When I make it home, look to the sky and I say thank you. I peeked the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool. If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was mental.